Hi everyone. I will show the main workflow to build a geomechanical model with depth inside in this video. There are five steps in geomechanical modeling of the surface wire as follows. Now, I will introduce the operation process using an actual case. Open the soft wire. Select the modeling button. Open the prepared model. This model is a complex structure model established in depth inside software. I will introduce the operation process using it. Switch to stress modeling module through the shortcut bar. Right click the blanks in the tree window. To create a new model, we can modify the model name in the right properties. Right click the model name, select extract model. It means that the model was extracted from structure modeling module. Meanwhile, the system regrades the geometric model into finite element mesh automatically. This is the first step. The next step is setting rook mechanical parameters. We can set the rook mechanical parameters in geological bodies node. We need to set every body's parameters. The main parameters include density, Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio, and so on. Usually, we would treat the model as a homogeneous body which can be set in the right properties. Geological body will be set homogeneate in soft wire by default. We can set density parameters at 2100 kg per cubic meter in right properties. And then, Young's modulus at 20 gigapa. Person's ratio at 0 0.3. Then we need to set parameters of all bodies. After setting homogeneous parameters, we can export these parameters information, which can be imported as the original parameters. We can check the rook mechanical parameters after importing the data that is imported from the model. If there are original parameters for heterogeneous model, for example, 
we have the identity original data for the horizon. We can import the parameters. The blind spot in the model is the density discrete point that we imported. And then we can do the data inflation. Get the result of density distribution. We can show the interpolation result by adjusting the right properties of geological bodies node. This is the two ways of setting rock mechanical parameters. The next will show the operation of the model as the homogeneous one. The third step is setting boundary conditions. There are two ways to set boundary conditions in software. Set separately and set as groups. First, we will show the setting boundary conditions separately. We need to adjust the model to the position of due north direction before setting. Because the name of the boundary conditions is controlled by the north direction of the model. Such as near, left, Far. In the view, the red arrow direction is the due north direction. We can set boundary conditions in all the boundaries. which may include fixed constraints, north constraints, and load. For example, we set a constant load of y direction in the near boundary, 20 MPa. And in the view, there are red arrow whose direction is the road direction in the near boundary. Meanwhile, we can also set fixed constraints whose sign is three black triangle. and 
normal constraints whose sign is three black points in the near boundary. Fourth boundary inside the model can be set constraints conditions. We choose one of the fourth boundary, set a constant load. Next, we will show the setting boundary conditions as groups. It merely aims at the sixth boundary of the model. We set gravitational load in top boundary 20 MPa. Set fixed constraints in the left boundary. And set normal constraints in the bottom boundary. Set a constant load of y direction in right boundary. In formal stress simulation, the setting of boundary conditions is very complex, and is also one of the biggest factors that impact the simulation result. The first step is calculate model. Right click the stress name node and select the calculate model. Model is in process of solving mechanics in question. We can check the simulation result after calculating. At first, in the right properties of the model name node, deformed and undeformed can be selected to display. We can choose the properties of model in the geological body node, such as displacement, stress, strain, and so on. We select the stress property. Choose the stress in the result display setting and display scalar parameters in right properties such as component stress, the first principal stress, and the maximum set stress, and so on. We choose the first principal stress and modify gradient ramp. The gradient ramp can represent the size of stress and the vector can show the direction. We can choose any position profile to study stress distribution of internal model.
Select two display properties of model in right properties column. This model is the result we needed. Finally, the simulated result can be exported in manner of SegWise file. And we need to set the SegWise in right properties before exported. Thanks for your support. The following is our contact information. If necessary, please contact us. Thank you.